Welcome to Perfect Guardian. And I'll tell you about the number two numerology, the all-knowing it is called. As the most feminine among all numbers, the two is also the most underestimated, at least. When it comes to power and strength, after all, she is almost always gentle, tactful, diplomatic, forgiving and understanding. Certainly, she likes to keep the peace and will avoid confrontation as much as possible. If you look at the shape of the number two, however, you will recognize the symbolic representations of the ultimate survivor and an extremely resilient force. Her shape, as if bent on new knee, with a head and back bowed in humility and servitude, makes it easy to dismiss her as weak and powerless. This is in stark contrast to the power and pride of the mighty and masculine number one, who will not bow for anyone at any price. However, when enough pressure is applied to the powerful warrior we see in the number one, he will break and shatter and be done with. On the other hand, when the humble and feminine two finds herself under attack and burdened with a crushing weight, she will bend. She will bend as much as needed. And when the weight is removed, her elastic, flexible nature allows her to come right back up, seemingly with little harm done, and she will continue to play her role. Her strength and power is resilient and lasting, just as the shape of number two reflects that so beautifully. There is much more to than meets the eye. She is often the true power behind the throne. As we stand in a way to the leadership and decisive actions of the number one, his strength and cunning relies on the clever and insightful advice of his greatest ally, the number two. Unnoticed and operating from the shadows, she is the Matahari who outwits other spies and diplomats with her grace, her sensuality, her flattering attention and a gentle force of persuasion. She is smart and understands the underlying qualities that makes people do this or do that. A born psychologist, there is not much about human nature that escapes her. She often controls the outcome of the certain events without anyone else noticing or acknowledging. In fact, the credit quite often goes to some other entity when it should be hers. This does not bother her because among her best qualities is patience. She knows her time will come. But even if she does, if she does not always get the recognition she deserves, she tends to take a special place in the hearts and minds of others due to her sophistication her grace, her style and an excellent taste in art and music. The two has an inborn sense of music and rhythm that makes her popular among any social crowd. And it is in the light-hearted arena of the play and art that she signs as a dancer and a convertist list. Within a social environment, perhaps the most important asset is a sense of humor that is witty and self-depreciating. But never slapstick as she is far too sophisticated for that. As a partner, the number two is an invaluable asset. She will defend you at any cost and her loyalty is unshakable. However, she is emotional and demanding and expects to be treated like a princess. She is devoted to you, but she also expects to be devoted at her. At times, she is a true drama queen and that happens you may know for sure that you have not paid enough attention lately. She is not particularly materialistic, but if you don't show up with gifts or flowers every once in a while, she will let you know in no uncertain terms that you are not measuring up. She will throw the occasional tantrum, but if you respond with love and attention, she will make it up to you in a proper fashion. In short, the number two is sensual, graceful, loyal partner who can a bit demanding but is worth the trouble. And there is another important aspect to the number two. As the most intuitive or all single number, she is drawn to occult. However, the real value of her intuitive prowess is in the way she interacts with others. 
it is two bases of a tact and understanding like a good politician which he can certainly be if needed she often understands the true motivations of others better than they do and a clarity and a powers of observation often help others to understand themselves better on top of a jealousy a vengeful nature when she feels mistreated and a cruelty when punishing adversaries the number 2 can also be critical and verbally abusive her ability to pout and sulk her bouts of bad temper for trivial reasons and extended periods of indifference can drive any sane person crazy on the top of that she is capable of displaying the most illogical reason and a verbal argument can feel like trying to slice water with a knife nothing you say seem to have any effect generally the best thing to do when a two behaves like that is to get out of her way for a while and then reappear with a big bouquet of flowers and a smile like nothing ever happened thank you please subscribe to my channel perfect guardian and give your comment